Today I'm coming to you live and direct from the Affordable Housing Expo which aims to bring buyers and developers under one roof for them to exchange information for the betterment of the housing landscape in Namibia. My name is Aina Raiza Kweo and this is another exciting edition of My.NA Property. E-Ticket, your online ticket solution for events and event marketing, bringing you ease of mind and making sure that your event gets out there. For more information, contact events at nmh.com.na. Having a roof over your head is absolutely every young person or old person's dream. And today I am joined by Mildred. She is the founder of the Affordable Housing Expo. And here we learn about how we can acquire and realize this dream of being homeowners. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. And you? I am fantastic. Um, tell us a little bit about the Affordable Housing Expo and what, where the idea stems from, when it was founded, and each and everything that you can possibly share about this expo. Okay. Um, affordable Housing, um, we started actually organizing this as of a few months ago, mm -hmm. but Providing housing has been a passion of mine for yeah. years. I've been in the home loan, um, I've been working for home loans and in the housing industry for the last 15, 13 years, basically 13 to 14 years. So I have passion for providing people home houses. I've been doing campaigns uh, through the previous employer um, in terms of getting people housing. So when I left the company, I decided like as in, I could do this on a greater scale. Mm. I could help people, Namibians, achieve their dreams. Mm. So our slogan runs with, um, if you can dream of having a home, you can actually bond it. Mm and you can leave your dream. Okay. Uh, the issue in Namibia is that um, housing isn't really affordable. Mm -hmm. So you are saying to us, we can afford these houses. So how, walk us through the process of acquiring a home in Namibia and what one needs to have in place um, just to realize the dream. Okay. Um, in affordability mm -hmm. is determined by one's income okay yes but when we say uh, the word affordability is actually vague mm. so when we say it's affordable we are referring to properties less uh, that are less than 1 million mm. and people that can afford properties that are 500 600 and so on so at the expo we have invited developers commercial banks and conveyances to be here so they would take you through the process of buying so we invited the public to come and find out what is the process so that they can hear directly from the people the institutions what the process is for buying a property mm. so um, yeah okay and then this event um, walk us through um, your marketing um, methodologies that you used and what expectations do you have of this event? Okay, uh, we use social media, 
we use radio also and uh, in person as well mm. so that that those are the methods which we use so to, to, to invite the public to the expo what are the outcomes that you hope um, that this we event hope will the bring? public to come through mm. to come through to the expo and find out what are the processes of buying a house what are the requirements that is required for them to buy a house okay. basically so that they can come and find out from all institutions there is no platform in namibia that has ever been there for anyone to get to a place and find all information in one place yeah. from local authorities banks conveyances alternative building solutions and so on okay so what's happening at this expo apart from informing information dissemination um, that you have highlighted what else is happening what can um, people who come here expect from this event in terms of are you having maybe performances are you having exhibitors uh, and so forth and so on the exhibitors are the institutions that took part in in this expo uh, which is the as I mentioned before the institutions from banks to local authorities and insurance companies alternative building solutions and building suppliers and so on so those are the people that uh, those are the exhibitors that are here so there's no performance and so on but we did have at the official opening which was yesterday uh, presentations aimed at the developers and the local authorities okay so they came through we invited them to come through and then sit in to, to, to find out how developers can get access to funding. Mm. Yes, so it was an educative um, session for them to know what are the funding that they are, that, that's required, the, the compliance and regulatories, the valuation aspects, anything that a developer would need mm. to start up his uh, building project, development project, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to find out how long is this expo? Um, the expo is running for three days. Mm. It started the 17th and ending on the 19th of October. And it's a full day? A full day. Okay. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right. Mildred, tell us about the challenges that some of the buyers um, are facing currently. Okay. Um, major factor is lack of knowledge. People do not know that when they go into a bank and then they get a financial assessment and they are told basically, no, you can only qualify for 300,000 or 400,000 or 800,000, where to go with that assessment, mm. that uh, pre-approval that they got from the bank. So this expo serves as a platform for them to come and find out what properties are available in the market, both from Riaboth, Oganja, and, 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 and Windhoek, mm. for them to know exactly where to go and buy, how to buy, and where to buy. So the expo answers three questions, mm. how, where, and what to buy. Okay. So there are properties that are also less than uh, 500,000 that are being sold by developers. Mm. So instead of you sitting with your pre-approval thinking that I can't find a property that is 400,000 uh, thousand come to the expo and find out where you can make use of your pre-approval mm. so the question really goes back again to Namibians are you tired of renting mm. that's a good question actually um Am I tired of renting? I don't know. I think I'll have to sit by myself and get an answer. And then maybe I can come back to you. But nonetheless, um, on that question, what is your advice to us young people who want to be, a, who are thinking or who are potential uh, home buyers? What would you say to me? Apart from come to the expo, I will get information from the expo. What else can you say? Okay, one thing that affects affordability is age as well. Mm. So I encourage Namibians, not just age, it's called actually loan term okay. in the banking sector. I encourage young people to buy properties when they are young. Mm. 
mm. because the older they take or the the more years you but, take to buy something yes the mm. more years you take to buy something it actually eventually is going to affect your affordability mm -hmm. because if the loan term is less than 20 years mm. then your affordability will be impacted mm. it would not matter whether you are earning 50,000 or 60 or whatever the amount is that you think you would be earning mm. just because your loan term is less it will have an impact on your affordability because it will determine the installment mm. okay yo I didn't know that's actually a good point um, so the issue is then if it's my first year in employment would you advise that depending on how much i earn would you advise that i still get a property or would you advise that i work for a few years maybe two or three and then i look into getting a property i would also not recommend anyone to rush into buying a property mm. be informed as much as you can yeah and then be financially matured mm. for you to buy a property Okay, Mildred, thank you so much for joining us on my Dodge NA property. We will be right back. Stick around. Joining me right now is Moody Marcus. She is here, very excited, good people, good energy. And we will be talking about RK Investments because we are coming to you live and direct from the Affordable Housing Expo. How are you doing, girl? Absolutely fabulous. I'm so glad to see you again. <laughs> same, same. Yeah. I absolutely love your energy. Thank Tell you. us about RK Investments, just a little bit. RK Investments is a developer. Mm -hmm. They develop houses in Australia. Sona village. In fact, they were the first to develop the first houses in Osona. Yes. So we are very excited because they built more than 150 houses so far, if I'm not mistaken. But mm. yeah, they've been developing proper homes for a lot of people who became homeowners. Mm -hmm. And today, today we are showcasing their brand new product. It's 14 absolutely more than gorgeous. I want to brag about the material <laughs> because for the expo we have set out beautiful materials our clients can choose from mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Tell us about these materials that you are showcasing oh, today. What time. are they? These ones that you want to brag so much Very about. The stage is yours. <laughs> brag. Oh, well, can I show? Can I show? Well, uh, not now not but now. when, when yeah. we are done I'll show you. Ultra modern glossy mm -hmm. kitchen cupboards nice. and handles gold handles guys if you were dreaming about having a gold and silver all black and all red kitchen you the the options are here yes. tiles everything perfect you get to choose today mm. normally other developers don't allow you to choose yes. we allow you to choose today mm. so you're giving us aesthetically pleasing choices to choose from yes. absolutely yes. fantastic yes. um you said to me that you know rk investment is the leader of the pack they were the first to develop yes. houses in osona walk yeah. us through the process of developing land for you there to be a property for instance oh wow so how it works you mm. okay so when you are someone looking for a property rk investment can provide freestanding townhouses mm -hmm. freestanding townhouse so you get a townhouse okay. in your own yard which is very nice you get to choose from two bedroom or three bedrooms mm. and you get plot and plan which is a freestanding house option that you can develop in the future mm. so you get to build your own swimming pool your own backyard flat if nice. you want to because the space is unbelievable mm. so yeah you get to buy plot and plan or you get to buy off plan which is houses ranging between 600,000 to 1.5 million okay so I, it means that I can afford something you know with my little salary oh, of yes. being a TV oh, yes. presenter <laughs> I know yes you can all you have to do is call me and I will assist you speaking of calling you tell yes. us um, about your marketing modalities oh, yeah. where can we reach you oh at? my goodness we have a Facebook page we are all over social media we can be we are here so yes. you can make your way to the expo yeah. and come and meet with us and tell us come with your pay slip come with your id and we will tell you how much you qualify for and sign you today mm -hmm. and if you sign with the expo there are a few goodies up line for you you get a few nice things coming with your house but after the expo you can still get goodies but not as good as the expo okay so you can get us um obviously i'm from dark chocolate real estate my number is um yeah you can say your number <laughs> i want to show my number 
So my number, this is us, is 0816110442. Okay, uh, Moody, finally, why should people choose RK Investment? There is your camera, say it to the people. RK Investment provide only the best housing in Osona Village. Why? Because you get to move into a brand new house. Even if your salary is low in Vintuk, you will not move into a brand new house. In Osona, with RK Investments, you get only the best. Freestanding, two bedroom to three bedroom houses, very affordable, and you can get it now. And on that note, you've heard it from the horse's mouth herself. <laughs> Make your way to the RK Investment Style here yes. at the Affordable Housing Expo, and you too could be a homeowner just like that. Exactly. <laughs>
it's a lot of learning that has to be done yeah okay yeah. so when you estimate right. do you also go to on site right or do you just estimate you give the person the, 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 the material that right. you go buy with right. uh, with their client the material right. or do you, it does it just end in the office for you uh, for me it does end in the office but we do have another service that we offer it, it's called DPAs right so where this is where the client uh, builds their project through the bank oh, right yeah. so the bank pays us who converts the money mm -hmm. and we pay out to the contractor and buy out the material okay. so in that case we'll have to go on site to assess if okay is this contractor really building according to what is on the plans is the is, is there are they following the estimate or mm -hmm. are they overcharging are they stealing from the client that's where we get to go on site and see okay is this according to what they are claiming or yeah that's actually nice. Maybe one day when I have a cute coin, I'll hire Kupkevitz. Right. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Hilly, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so my much for having property. me. You're welcome. We will be right back. Please stick around. Right now, I am joined by Miss Ronnie. She is the Commerce Facilitator, Regional Facilitator rather, for the Czech Dwellers Federation of Namibia. Um, this organization has changed lives of thousands of Namibians and she is here to touch on the work that they do. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Please, can you highlight uh, some of the work that the Czech Dwellers Federation of Namibia has done thus far? Okay, this far? We have uh, constructed um, more or less 8,000 houses countrywide. Um, the, the membership grew also, and then the partnership also grew. We have partners that is also supporting the work of Street Dwellers Federation. And this platform actually enabled us also to spread the good works that Street Dwellers is doing with the domestic workers. Okay. People who are coming to inquire about the, uh, the organization. They 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 uh, um, see forward to yeah. joining the, uh, the the organization. Okay. And and the organization is actually a uh, 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 community driven. Mm. So the community knows that what they want in the informal settlements. Mm. So uh, uh, they are part of the planning of yes. the informal settlement upgradings. Okay. Yeah. So how does one uh, become a beneficiary of the Sheikh Dwellers um, Federation? How can I also get a house? Okay. Yeah. Um, through joining the saving groups. Okay. If you join the saving groups, you automatically qualify to be the member of the, of, of the organization. And then through the savings, because savings is the engine of, of, of the organization. Through savings, uh, uh, people enable themselves to meet the, the council or town council or the government halfway. Yeah. So um, we've, we've been having contacts with uh, um, city of Vanduk yeah. for, for getting a piece of land for the saving groups. So basically, uh, the members are also trained yeah. to, to, to help in constructing houses themselves. Okay. Yeah. So walk us through the process of how people can then save as part of the groups. Does this money come from uh, their salaries? Do they just come and do a pledge? Is it donation? What comprises of these savings? These savings is basically what a member, a community member can afford. Okay. Because being it that people are, some are domestic workers, some don't work at, at all. all. Mm. They don't from zero income to, let's say, 7,000. Mm. So uh, these people, they just come when the groups are meeting. Mm. What you can afford that day, the $20 or the $10, mm. at the end of the day, and enables a member to, to afford in a group mm. by a, a block of land. Mm. So it's not like a pledge or, or that uh, uh, you have to pay a certain amount. Mm. But what you can afford at that particular time when the groups are meeting, that is your saving. And the groups are having their own bank accounts where they are saving, which is also managed by the members themselves. Okay. Yeah. So what are the requirements for somebody to join like the, these, these committees, these, these groups? Um, do I need to be of a certain age? Do I need a particular uh, document? So what are the requirements? Or do I just need to be a member of a community somewhere? You just need to be someone with a dream mm. of owning that four pigs, that, that 
piece of land okay. one day. Okay. But you need to be in the low income and the ultra low income groups. Okay. Yeah, you need either you are working, you are petrol jockey, you are security, you are domestic workers, mm. all those are falling in the category of the low income. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and finally, why is it important uh, that the Sheikh Dwellers Federation improve the living standards of low income earning Namibians? Why is it important? Oh, yes. You see, at the, at the at now stage, mm -hmm. ne, you can see that I, I can't even go into the bank mm -hmm. to, to qualify for a loan yeah. to buy a house at waterfront. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So us, we, we just decided to say, let's form ourselves, organize ourselves, ne, try to do things that the, uh, a private developer can do. Mm -hmm. We do the labor, we okay. do the saving, we can dig trenches. Let's try to help ourselves mm -hmm. by saving so we can also one day get a house like Waterfront. Okay. And, and the houses are incremental, mm -hmm. whereby where you start with a smaller house, because that is what you can afford, mm -hmm. still in the long run you can extend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's stages that we are doing, so it, it, it changes a lot. It's not only about housing, there is a lot of factors that also comes Come. after housing yeah so the saving also helps us to understand we can have our personal bank accounts but you know most us we can use easy wallet blue wallet uh, but when it comes to the group account you just don't go and take you save for a purpose yeah yeah so it, it teaches us a lot mm. Yeah. Mrs. Ronnie, thank you so much for joining us on my.na property and thank you for your contributions to the upliftment of our people. Thank you so much. Mm. We will be right back. Please do stay with us. This has been another fantastic edition of My.NA Property. We brought you conversations with developers, uh, real estate agents, quantity surveyors, and everything that you absolutely need in order for you to actually realize your dream of one day owning a house at an affordable rate. My name is Aina Reiser Until next time, it's all my love, all my light.